In this video, we set up decks so you can mix like a DJ in Ableton Live. Find out how, coming up. Thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. Now let's get into the video. So in a previous video, the first video I did in the series, I described this view right here, which is the arrangement view in Ableton Live. But when you're performing or DJing, <clears throat> so in the first video in the series, I described this view, which is the arrangement view in Ableton Live. But when you're performing or DJing in Ableton, you're actually going to use the second view, which is called session view. So to get to session view, you can either press tab on your keyboard or click on these two buttons right here to switch between the views. So this is session view. If you notice, first of all, the tracks are uh, in order from left to right going vertically instead of in arrangement view top to bottom. So you can see track one and track two here, track one and track two here. But instead of being in the timeline view like this where it's just a straight timeline, uh, Ableton has these things called clips. And these are clip slots right here where you can go ahead and bring in different mp3s or different audio files and drop them into these slots. Think, the, think of these as like um, your kind of track list for your DJ software. So you can have all of your songs in these slots right here. And uh, with Ableton, you can only play one slot at a time vertically, but you can play as many audio tracks at the same time. So for instance, if I wanted to play these two tracks at the same time, I would move this song from uh, track one to track two, and now I'm able to play these two at the same time. Whereas if I had these stacked right here, I could only select one of the two to play at one time. So for this example, I'm going to have uh, two audio tracks act as two channels like in a DJ mixer. So for this example, I have uh, channel one and channel two, and each channel has a volume fader, just like on a DJ mixer as well as uh, a pan right here, just like left and right, just on the DJ mixer. And then uh, I also added a three band EQ to each channel. This is just like the EQ on a DJ mixer where you have uh, low, mids, and highs. And what's cool about the three band EQ on Ableton is that you can actually pick which frequencies the lows and highs cross over. So if you're used to a certain uh, EQ style of a certain mixer, you can kind of mimic that uh, with Ableton. So you have the flexibility to pick like where the mid picks up or, or where the high and low picks up, which is nice. So for this example, I'm only using two channels, but in Ableton, you can have as many tracks or channels as you want, as many as uh, your computer can take. So for this example, just doing simple two channel mixing, like you do two deck mixing on a DJ setup, so let's get started. I have these two songs right here. Uh, let's go ahead and open the waveform. This is a uh, Revolution bootleg uh, by uh, Diplo. And this one right here is a uh, Justin Bieber, Where Are You Now uh, remix that I did. Notice that this one is at 95 BPM and this one is at 100 BPM and both are set to complex uh, mode for their warp mode. Even though these are at two separate BPMs, because they're warped, uh, they will always uh, play at whatever BPM the master temp, the master BPM is or session BPM is set to. So that's why mixing in Ableton once the warping is done can be so easy, is because whatever the BPM of the tracks are, you don't have to worry about uh, beat matching like you would on uh, CDJs or turntables or a controller. You can go ahead and just drag these in, make sure they're warped and it'll play at whatever BPM this is set to. So let me give you an example of uh, how these sound. So as you can tell, I have my BPM set to 105, which is different from either of these. I know that this one has an eight bar intro and this one has a four bar intro. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this one and then bring this one in. Also, Ableton has a quantized feature, which is similar to what's on the CDJs or your DJ software where once you bring in a song, it'll bring it in on time. 
I currently have it set to one bar for this example, but you can change it to be uh, one bar, one beat, uh, whichever you need. So which is nice. So if, if you want a quick cue point triggering or quick starting of tracks, you can do that. Or if you just want it uh, a little bit easier where you can kind of cue your songs ahead of time, uh, you can do that as well. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and start with this one that has an eight bar intro and then show you that this will come in right on time. So let's get started. As you can see, I use these buttons right here to stop the clip, or you can use these right here to stop as well. Um, you can tell that they were right on time. I didn't really have to worry about beat matching and they won't go out of sync. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is play these at the exact same time, just to show you that they don't go out of time. And I'm gonna go ahead and play with the BPM. It might sound like a mess, but just uh, take note of the, the kicks and the snares and that they're still in perfect uh, beat matching. So let's try that again. And there you can see that no matter what BPM I went to, they stayed in sync perfectly all the way up and all the way down, which is great uh, because you don't have to worry about beat matching in Ableton Live. Once everything's warped right on grid, you're good to go. Um, great way to just kind of play with different um, snippets of audio. So say you have a track running, you can have a third track that says maybe has like acapellas that you've warped. You can do uh, on the spot bootleg, live bootlegs like that. Maybe you have different loops from other tracks. You can, it doesn't have to be full songs. You can bring in loops that you've cut out of other songs, or like I said, acapellas uh, from other songs, or maybe different effects that you want to uh, play on time, like different sound effects, or like sweepers or horns or something like that. Um, and they'll always be on time and on tempo. And with that, each channel can have their own effects chain. So like right now, I just have an EQ, but you could bring in a, uh, a filter sort of like the pioneer filter with a high pass low pass that's easy as dragging and dropping as well or um, stuff like echoes or reverbs easy to to do on each channel or you could do it on the master channel very simple uh, setup really easy to play with once you start understanding how to warp just dragging these songs in and being able to mix really fast and like on tempo not having to worry about beat matching could be very very uh, fun to do and it's like doing live mashups uh, really a creative way to come up with new ideas or just to mess around or and uh, just another way to DJ so that's how you set up decks in Ableton Live so question of the day is this a technique that you could use in the future go ahead and leave that down in the comments below I'd love to hear what you guys have to say and as always if you found this video useful please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And thank you for watching P.TV, where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. See you next time.